conversing with people. He's never, he's not stuck up. He's not in any way, shape, or form a diva. So. <laughs> and can you explain a little bit the, the scene that you had to do with Chan Fat? Um, I'm under tight agreement <laughs> that I can't say anything, but um, I do fighting stuff. You do fighting stuff. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. For or against uh, Chan Yun Fat? Well, he's my Asian peoples. I don't know. Oh, and we okay. can't fight against each other, <laughs> right? I don't know. We have to work yes. together, right? You have to wait till you, 2007. You just have to wait. Oh, yes. wow. To yeah. see the film yourself. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. Cool. How about, how about you? Um, anything else uh, about the project, um, Girl With Gun? Anything that I want to say. Favorite part about working with Girl With Gun? Well, why don't you uh, explain to how you worked all five days because you were in every scene of the script. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It was five days in a row, so it was pretty exhausting. Um, no, I had, a re I had a really good time. It was a, a great opportunity, and I think um, everybody who worked on the film worked really, really hard to make, oh, yeah. it, to make it great. And I was impressed when I saw the final cut because um, I think Russ and... Um, I think everybody did a really good job. I was just... You did a great job, and you looked beautiful. Thanks, you yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she did a lot for the film. I think it, she was a huge part in it, so don't cut yourself out. <laughs> no, you both did. You both <laughs> definitely cool. helped the film. And how was working with Russ? <laughs> <laughs> the, the well... Question. Ah, uh, yes, go ahead. Air he, director. <laughs> he, he, he's great. He, he's always keeping things lively, always saying positive things, you know. Um, it, it, it was such a hard shoot for him because I think we were all so hot and it was so action-packed and she was mm -hmm. in a leather suit and we had to do wire work, mm -hmm. you know, and it was just a really rough shoot and I think he handled it great. Yeah. It, it was definitely ambitious, uh, I'll put it that <laughs> way. That's, you know, it's maybe an understatement, but it was ambitious, um, especially the wire work. Mm -hmm. The wire work was something I've never tried before, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. the prep for it was, you know, it, it was it was exhausting. It was a lot of prep work. It really was. But it turned out, I think, very great in the film. So wow. it worked. Wow, cool. And also Russ is extremely organized and he... <laughs> He is, a, and he always is making his little jokes here and there. So yeah. he keeps it, he keeps it light, and he keeps it fun. Even, I mean, even when you're working really hard, it's always under, it's always under control. And he has a really positive spirit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, it's when you're working on a film, it definitely is a high-stress environment. Um, and you know, the director is, in a sense, you know, the head of the production. So if the director doesn't exude that sense of confidence or the sense of you know control then yeah it's the film is gonna suffer really well so you know I mean mm -hmm. there were a lot of stressful uh, times and I just had to say well you know we just have to handle it you know we just have to go about it because you know it's about the end product cool cool <laughs> cool anything else you'd like to uh, add about a uh, girl with gun Go see it in your theater oh yes <laughs> ah yes go to IMDb right yes it just got into um, Comic-Con. Uh, it will be shown on July 20th in San Diego at the uh, comic, it's uh, a yearly comic book convention. It's also going to be shown at the uh, FAIF Film Festival, and that's at Demand Chinese, and that's going to be in October. Um, and in North Texas also at the Independent uh, Film Festival in North Texas. So, you know, there are three chances to see the film, hopefully more. We'll see uh, how far we can get with Gorbuk And also, um, Yim Chan worked with Jackie Chan. He's, I don't know if Mm -hmm. They're a big Jackie Chan bus, but he works with uh, Jackie Chan, and he's one of his biggest, you know. Yeah, that's right. Yim Chan Tong, who mm -hmm. was the uh, second unit second director. Second unit director, right? Yeah. Uh, how, was, how was working with Yim Chan? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I loved it. I loved it because <coughs> I couldn't. He didn't doesn't speak English. Doesn't. Really. <laughs> oh, yeah. So when no. he, we had so, a translator on the set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just kind of directs you physically, and you're looking Body at language. him. Yeah. It's <laughs> and and I speak Chinese, but he speaks um, he speaks a different kind of you know he speaks Cantonese, and he has a very thick accent. Uh. So even I, you know, and I speak fluent Chinese, and I was like, yeah, what? <laughs> But <laughs> sometimes I'm not too sure what he says. But, you know, with action, just like she said. Just yeah. And, and the fun part was, makes it clear. was that Michelle and I had for, you know, every weekend for a month or so had <laughs> rehearsed these very specific moves that we were supposed to do very specifically. What kind of moves can you, can you like, demonstrate? Or, no. oh, I don't know. It's I'm been a while. scared. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get my leather suit on for it. Um, but 
you know, we had rehearsed these very specific, this very specific choreography, and then when he was became involved, pretty much the day of the project, the day of oh, the shoot, right. it was everything Gone. was different, and it was it, we had we really yeah. did have to be very flexible yes, with our with the choreography did. and with our fighting. That's true. So, it, but that was really it was fun to do that because normally you'd be really nervous to do something super unrehearsed. So a lot of that choreography uh, was changed and was improvised by him. Yeah, he came on one week uh, before. Yeah. We found we got a surprise uh, call saying, "Oh, I'm back from uh, I think it was in China." Oh my. Yes, he went to China for months, uh, but he came back, and I'm like, "Okay, great." Now we worked with him before on uh, another short film that we did called Mavit. Right. Uh, so he was an actor in that film. So you know, um, I knew who he was, and I really did want him on the project, on this project, because of his. Uh, uh, martial arts background because he was the action director for a lot of Jackie Chan's films and in the 70s in a lot and 80s. Of Hong Kong secrets. Yes. Yeah. Oh yes, and I love Old that style. I yeah. love that techniques. style. And when you yeah. see the fight scene, you will definitely tell uh, his influence. You can definitely see it. Okay. It's it's it was just incredible to work with this guy. Awesome. <laughs> well, I can't wait to uh, check out this film in uh, in theaters coming. Uh, what's the uh, what's the closest festival? Uh, the closest one is Comic Con, Comic -Con. and that's in July. July 20th, uh, around 1 p.m. Everybody go to Comic-Con and check yeah, us out. Yeah, go to Comic-Con, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah. Support the film. All right, guys. Cool. Well, thank you so much for coming by. Um, all right, guys, don't go away. We'll be right back after these breaks. We'll have some more crispy boba treats and uh, a film you guys don't want to miss. So uh, stick around. Quiet, quiet on the set. Cool. Well, we saw the trailers. We saw the, tr we saw the trailers for A Girl With Gone and this phenomenal work. Now, how about your first movie, uh, Her Night, uh, w which we're gonna see right now. Tell us a little bit about it before we, we start the, the shot the show. Well, you know, as I mentioned before, uh, we, uh, my friend Emil Harris, who's uh, a frequent filmmaking partner of mine and I, we had a concept for the film in December. We shot it in January and we completed it in November. Um, it isn't a perfect film by any means, but it is my first, and because of that, I hold it very uh, dear to my heart. Uh, because of that film, I learned how to produce a film. Pre-production, no, development, you know, getting the screenplay together, uh, pre-production, casting, uh, finding the sets, you know, hiring the crew, production, shooting it, um, post-production, editing it, uh, adding the score, and I'll mention about the score, I worked with uh, an incredible composer named Neil Argo. Neil Argo is uh, an Emmy-winning composer, and he's actually composed the scores for all of the films so far. Mavit, Girl with Gun, the Girl with Gun official trailer that you saw, and currently Perfect Red. In fact, he tried to call me during the interview <laughs> because we're working on the score as we speak. So um, uh, the score, we did that. We actually, on that film, uh -huh had a 14-piece orchestra. It wasn't synth, it was live. We recorded at Capitol Records. This was in August of 2004. Okay. It was, for me, a dream come true. I and mean, it was an incredible experience. Because I went into film because of film music. Uh, the music of John Williams and Jerry Goldsmith. I just loved to death. So it was, it, it was an honor to see a 14-piece orchestra, you know, have my composer conduct mm -hmm. them and hear the score for the film, you know, being recorded there. Yeah. It, it, was, it was incredible. Um, so we did that. Uh, we edited the visuals. Uh, in the clips that you'll see, you'll see that it's been heavily uh, uh, rotoscoped, the dream okay. sequence. Cool. You'll see it's like a painting, very ethereal. Um, then uh, we did sound design, put that all together. Awesome. So that's her night. Cool. Well, enough talk. Let's check out the film. <laughs> 